guys, welcome back to How To Live Your Style. I'm Shara, and today we are going back to school. DIY backpack decor. Is that even a thing? Decor? I mean, I guess so. I'm gonna show you guys three awesome ways to make your backpacks super stylish, super fun, and perfect for back to school. So, let's get started. So all you're gonna need is a backpack, some thread and a needle, a piece of chalk, a pair of gold scissors, floral patterned fabric, some iron-on letters, and an iron. That's it. So first things first, let's take off this really ugly label. You just wanna make a small nick. Once you kinda of get it going, it all just kinda of pulls up after that. You're gonna take your floral fabric, you're gonna find a part of the pattern that you really like that you think is really pretty. I like that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a mark with your chalk. You're gonna make a mark with your chalk right there. So I know that's the width. Then, once you cut your points there, you can kind of feel for the part where it, where it ends. So I'm just gonna make a little, little mark for, as a guideline then get to cutting. These scissors are just like butter. They're so lovely. I'm telling you, the gold really makes a difference. Next, we're gonna cut out our iron-on letters. I picked these guys up from Joann's, but you could probably get them from any basic craft store. Once you put your letters down, you wanna take your iron, and you're going to iron them on Depending on what the package says, these specific letters, they say 30 seconds. Then, you're gonna let them cool. After 20 seconds, you're gonna peel the back of them off. All right, let's sew it on the backpack. So now you're gonna take matching thread. I'm using pink. And once you thread the needle, if you wanna learn how to do that in better detail, look at last week's video. And so the needle's up like that, then you can honestly just push it back through. You can almost scrunch it. So keep pushing the needle so now it's on the back of it. Then you push it back up. Then you push it back down. And you can even end right back up on top. Probably be better. Pull the needle through. Then just make sure you straighten it out and keep on going. Continue stitching all the way around the perimeter of the print until it's time to tie off your thread. Then, you want to make one final stitch so that you have a loop with your remaining thread, and then pull the thread through from the other side a couple of times until it ties off. So, if your backpack says hi, it shows that you're nice, maybe you'll make a new friend. Or maybe they'll just think you're a weirdo. Sorry. Two. So for this one, all you're going to need is some lace, some fabric glue, and some pretty gems. And of course, you're still gonna need your scissors and some new needle and thread. Some new needle. Bring some new needle. And obviously a backpack. On this backpack, I already removed the label on the top, and this is gonna be kinda like the boho backpack. Let's get to stitching. You wanna measure out how much lace you're going to need, and then cut. Boho babe. Are you a boho babe? Because you would love this backpack if you are. It would be kind of interesting to see how many of you guys out there actually know how to sew. I didn't know how to sew until recently, and I don't really know very many people my age that know how to sew. So, leave me a comment below. <laughs> if you guys already know how to sew, or if you like totally don't know how, and this is helpful. Hopefully it's helpful. And now that everything's been stitched, it's time to bedazzle. I thought this gave it a little bit of a glamorous touch to this really nice and pretty boho backpack. Then take your fabric glue and glue that gal over where your label used to be. And then there you go, backpack two all done. Pair of 
gold scissors, some gold studs, and a backpack. This is like the rocker backpack. I just lined up the gold studs in a straight line. You guys can do this in any pattern you want, but I wanted to keep it really simple and really clean and just have this really rocker edgy look. I'm just gonna do a little thing up top just to have something extra. Once you line up the studs in a line, you wanna take your scissors and bend the back of the clasps, that way the studs don't fall out. I just love this backpack, super edgy, kinda rocker, but still pretty simple. Well, that's it. Hopefully you guys totally enjoyed those DIYs and they got you a little bit more excited about going back to school. Leave me a comment below about which one was your favorite, which one you're gonna maybe DIY, or maybe another idea of a cool backpack DIY that you've done. I wanna know, so leave me a comment. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. As always, if you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe right here, or check out the videos right there. And don't forget, the eye symbol above me, that means it's an info card and you can click that if you're on your cell phone and you want to watch another video. Leave us a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next week. Bye! So, I need your muscles. Wait, I might have done it. Do you know where I lost them? Because... <sighs> you haven't been able to find them either? I haven't seen them oh, in years. Oh no.